Okay, so it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. All right, so it's Tuesday, um, and I am gonna head over and pick up some new rear tires in addition to the four new ones we have, so we're all set and ready to go at Sealands Grove this Saturday. So yeah, Tuesday, here we go, let's get into it. All right, there they are, brand new 1300 Hoosiers, ready for our car, so uh, I'll head, get, head back home and uh, we'll get doing whatever we're gonna do tonight. So I guess my job tonight is going to be looking at our tires and deciding what we're going to keep, what we're going to lose, and what is going to end up getting cut. we got a pair of new tools to work on the car, uh, do the tires, so uh, we'll test those things out and uh, see what, what's good. Uh, anywho, so yeah, I'm going to get to pulling all the tires into the garage and uh, getting ready to, uh, to cut and do some grooving and do some tire stuff. So now I get the daunting task, but wonderful task, of deciding which tires we are going to dismount and which tires we're going to keep. So uh, we got, I guess, six brand new ones, which is where most of our sponsor money ended up, which I think is well spent because tires are the key between winning and losing. And we got a couple of old tires, and I'm just going to go with a worst first situation where I'm just going to pick whichever tire is worse which I'm thinking is gonna be this one, right here, which is a beauty from Sealands Grove when we ran with the super lates. That track was dry and like sandpaper. Uh, hopefully, they, they got a new surface this year, so hopefully it's better, but uh, that's the tire we're gonna start with. We're just gonna dismount and mount up a new one. Uh, and also, I'm gonna test out the new tools we got, and I'm gonna test them out on an old tire that's probably a little bit better than that one. Maybe we'll start with this front tire here, test out the tools, and then mount up a new, new right rear. So. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. All right, so here we have the Van Alstein. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, tire Groover, and this is the first time I'm gonna ever be trying this thing. And we'll just send it to this old tire and see how quick it makes work of this thing. And this is just a scrap tire, so we're just gonna dice it up and see what it does. So it comes with a, a sample pack of blades, I think. I don't know if it actually comes with them or, or they threw it in with uh, the place we bought it. Uh, so I'm just going to take out the current blade and switch it with just this thin blade here, just to test it and see what they look like compared to what we have done in the past. So I'm gonna set my depth by just checking it against what the current tread of this tire is. Twist this, proof that it's brand new, I'm twisting the cable. Hopefully I don't destroy this tire right away. I mean, it's gonna be scrap tire anyway, but I don't wanna obliterate it. Well, it looks like it makes quick work here. Let me do them where you guys can see it. So, Without applying any heat, does it go? Heat? Boom, oh, right like that. And yeah, look at that, nice cut. On a brand new blade, too. So, with no heat, hardly goes. I'm gonna apply the heat by pulling the trigger. Boom, oh, straight through. Might be able to set my depth a little bit deeper, but ooh, I like that. Works quick, unlike the iron that we had before where we had to sit it there for 45 minutes and let it heat up before we could use it. Well, I'm a little bit impressed compared to what we were used to using, so 
I don't know, I'll have to cut some more tires with it and see how it does, but uh, I like it so far. It's pretty much the same principle, just cut and go, uh, but without any heat to it, just pulling the trigger. And listen, I literally just plugged this in, like you watched me plug it in, and it was ready like that, so that's how they told me they were gonna, that, that's how it worked, so I trust them. And that, that was proof right there, so uh, yeah, Van Alstein. Good job on the tire groover. I like it. Alright, so now I'm gonna try Van Alstein's other products that we picked up for this year, their Cyper. And it seems pretty easy that you would just go. But uh, yeah, we'll plug this thing in and see how long it takes this thing to heat up, which I think it's supposed to take a little bit longer. But uh, here, they sent also some sample blades with this one. Alright, so stupid ass me didn't know that you're supposed to take the blades here. It's not gonna focus on the blade. The blades, blades are perforated so you can bust them off onto little pieces that are a lot smaller. So, uh, yeah. Well now putting it in the gun should be a lot easier, if you can call it a gun. Alright, so after about a half an hour of trying to figure out this cypher and dropping the son of a right into my leg, uh, now I have it set to cut three sipes, um, and we're just going to test it out here. I let the gun heat up for about five minutes, and it took me longer than I'd like to admit to figure out how to change the setting so you can run more than one blade. Stupid. Um, so anyway, this thing should be nearly smoking hot. And we'll see if we can run a sipe. I guess it's all right. I mean, I can cut, cut a lot more than I used to be able to. So that's a really good thing. So if you're new to siping, uh, what it does is it just slits the tire, uh, just like taking a knife and cutting through it. And then what it does is they can slide up against each other and build heat or open up and lose heat when the tire gets too hot. So it's a good way keep traction in these things when uh, you're, you're on a long race. So uh, yeah, that thing's alright. Alright, so today we got the tires all out and ready and while I was doing all this, Dad was over there putting the shocks back on the car. So the car is just about ready to drop on the scales. All we gotta do is get our tires ready, at least four of them that we're gonna be running. Uh, get them ready, grooved, and filled up the right uh, pressure, put them on the car, drop it on the scales, and we'll be ready to be fast. So, uh, cannot wait. Now, today, I'm gonna try to upload this video, and we'll see if I can keep pumping out this kind of content, but I figure we can just make a short video a day or something like that, and I don't know, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, today was just all about unboxing that stuff and uh, getting set up. Uh, Nate's gonna be here tomorrow, so we'll get to doing some tires, and uh, he'll do some learning, I'll do some learning, and we'll get through it. Alright, so I hope this one's a little bit of a surprise upload for you guys. I'm gonna try to upload it uh, kind of back-to-back -back with my last video, and uh, this is just kind of an attempt to get some content out to you guys more rapidly. I knew I, I know I, I slacked for a week there, but we were kind of busting it on the car, and Dad gets a little bit weary when I start filming out here because it takes my attention off specifically the car and I'm also talking to camera and worried about getting footage. Um, and we kind of really had to, to bust ass to get this car ready. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching this one. Hopefully we'll be ready by Saturday, and you will definitely see more footage. So, thanks for watching. This has been Joe Lusk with another one, and once again, thanks you guys for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. It's been quite a ride to get here, and I never believed it would happen when I first started. Uh, but you know what? Things are looking really awesome right now, and I have to thank you guys for it. So, uh, anywho, thanks for watching this one, guys. As always, take care. Have a great day, night, evening, morning, whatever. I don't know what time zone you're in or what time it is you're watching this video, but thank you guys. Thank you so much. Take care.